Hey guys! So I know it has been too long. In fact, it's been way too long. It's been so long since I've done videos. I'm like nervous in front of the camera again. So today I'm going to do a quick update and let you know what all has been going on. See, where should I begin? Um, I guess I could begin at the beginning of July. Um, July was just an insanely busy month. Um, at the beginning of the month was the 4th of July and Miley's birthday and my brother and his family came out and we had a big get together and we had so much fun. Happy birthday to you. Now blow out your candles with the imaginary flames on them. <laughs> A couple weeks after that was the fair and that was insanely busy because Miley had projects galore and let me tell you it was almost too many projects to keep up with. So she took our turkey, she took um, chickens, her rabbits, um, her two pigs and then she took lots of photography and um, embroidery. Flowers. And flowers. Garden. And garden stuff. And speaking of that, my mom did harvest all of her potatoes and we did a big potato reveal video. Oh. Oh, <sighs> there they are. Oh my goodness sakes, look at that. Look at all those. I just haven't gotten that edited yet, but that will be one of the next videos that I do edit, so stay tuned to that for that. It's been a crazy several weeks. We've just been trying to do a little bit of work here and there in the shed, and I will show you an update of everything that we've done so far. Um, we've had a lot of... There's been some weekends where we've been able to get a lot of stuff done, but most of the time we've just been working when we can, doing a little bit at a time, so... Our progress seems a little slow, but yet we are obviously making progress on it. And then another thing that has been keeping me from really making a lot of videos here lately is that I've been um, looking for a job change. And um, so I've just been really busy with that. Um, it's been a little on the stressful side trying to figure out exactly what I want to do and finding a different job and all of that. But I am happy to say that this week is going to be my last week at the hospital and I'm very, very excited about that and I'm very excited for the job that I have coming. Um, I'm not going to exactly say what I'm going to be doing yet in this video, but stay tuned to a future video and I will tell you all about that then. So anyway, um, on to the update. I think the first one should be the most exciting one. And that one right there, because that was pretty darn exciting. Got my AC installed. And it is blowing ice cold. Yes, this that is one thing that we have been trying to do, or wanting to do for a while, and we kind of kept putting it off because we thought it was going to be really hard and complicated, and we were even scared to try it. It was more intimidating than what it actually was. Yeah, it actually turned out to be super easy to install and we got it up and running and even though most of my shed still isn't insulated yet, it is keeping it cool in here which makes it a lot more comfortable environment to work. Because I will say that that's another reason that we didn't do a lot of video updates when we were doing the insulation on the ceiling because it was insanely hot. It was like in the hundreds. I think, and it got really hot in here. And let's just say we weren't really in the best of moods when we were doing that, because it was just, it was really hot. And, I, and when you're doing videos and stuff, it slows your work down because you always gotta change the angle of the camera, you gotta talk to the camera, you gotta do this and do that. And we could barely even work in here, getting the insulation up. And so I just said, nah, let's just not do a video because you guys probably would not have enjoyed that video at all because I know we weren't even enjoying it either. So, 
But I am happy to say that we have the ceiling insulated. And I always thought the insulation would be like the most fun thing to do. I've, I've just been so anxious to do it. But let me tell you, it is not that fun. No. <laughs> it's itchy, it's stickery. Of course, it was insanely hot when we were doing it. And then on top of that, when we were up there in the loft, um, you, as you can see, it's not very tall. And so you had to sit at weird angles and try to stable it up there. And oh my gosh, I could hardly move after I got that done. But anyway, um, I'm hoping that the rest of the insulation will all be a lot easier. We've got some water lines again. Not yep. many, but some. Well, we started over here and the water line comes in. And it goes around there and it comes basically have it in the bathroom back here now. And then it turns a corner and goes all that way and around. Basically this big line right here is going to be the hot water that comes out. And that other line in there is going to be the cold water. And I will say, I will point this out right now because I know people will see this. Um, this right here it's as you can see it would be really hard to go behind the studs because of the way they're positioned so we just decided to go out and around and i probably will not finish this part of the wall i'll just put the insulation down and that's because um i'm going to scoot this hot water heater back and then there'll be a wall around it so you won't be able to see the water line anyway so um that's what we're doing on that side we got the same situation going on over here but in this area right here, I plan on having our wardrobes with our clothes and stuff. So it will be covering all of that. So we're just going to leave it like that. So if they don't like it, they can take it up with the complaint department. <laughs> I figure it, nobody really is going to be seeing my water lines in the corner of my bathroom anyway. So FYI, we don't have a complaint department. <laughs> okay. So then what else have we done? Um, that's all in your house, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. You can go show them my progress. Yeah, Dylan's been making a little bit of progress on his. Little bits every day after work. Ah, I've got electricity in my shed now. Show my bridge box I got all installed. I'm proud of the wire management got it you know, all tucked away all along the edges and up and around i personally think it looks really good got it the does ground wire over coming up and back down and around and i think it just looks sharp yeah it does it looks real sharp oh yeah and then i got a couple outlets installed one right there and one down yonder they're both on some friends of ours heard that we were fixing up sheds and they didn't need some air conditioners anymore so they gave us, all, all of us, one to put in all of our sheds and I got that going in mine. Make it maybe just a little bit more tolerable to be in here. Um, one day after work I rented a trencher and then brought it out here and I trenched all the lines. Guess I ran the wire and then I Instead of putting the conduit in and pulling the wire through, like most people do, I laid the wire and then put the conduit on, built it as I went. So I didn't know how long to cut the wire, and I wanted the extra left, because some of that is for Brookster too. And then I ran a smaller line out to the shed, so that way we could store, put a freezer in there, and store food out there, obviously. There's that metal box. I think that we can run other wires into it and run up for the lights. I'll have to yep. figure out where to put a light switch in here. I have the freezer on that's running and everything. Everything works. So. And Brooke is currently busy right now doing some stuff. And so I'll just give you the quick update with her. Um, she did get her windows and door. And so we, none of us know how to do any of that, like installing them or any of that. So we are currently doing research. So that way we can learn how to do that. And um, once we get a little further along on 
my shed and um, we get some more electrical done in Dylan's shed, then we will get started on her windows and doors. And be sure to stay tuned for our potato video and um, a more in-depth video after that. And hopefully soon we can get back on track with vlogging more regularly. Thanks for watching.